pilgrimage is walking. You put one foot in front of the other, and there's a rhythm, but it's a spiritual rhythm, it's a musical rhythm. You kind of swing into step, and whether you want to or not. Back home, every day is kind of planned out. Every day, you know where you're going to sleep, and here, nothing is set. And there's a great freedom in that. The reason why I decided to do the Camino was because my life was a mess and I had no idea what to do with my life. It's a spiritual journey. No es un paseo. No es un, un llegar a un sitio. Es caminar. Es vivir. Es mm, sentir. I wanted to get in shape before going to Africa, so I just thought, yeah, why not? Pourquoi tu fais le chemin avec maman? Parce que bébé. I'm going to Saint Jacques since I believe in God. El camino de Santiago es como una metáfora de la vida, porque en realidad la vida es como un camino. My name is Wayne M.D. I live in British Columbia. One of the spurs that got me here was my old friendship with Jack. And Jack performed the funeral for my wife. What was, what happened? Um, she died suddenly four years ago. So last year I did a pilgrimage in Japan with my oldest son. It's been one of the highlights of my life actually to, to do that particular trip with my son. And it was for you guys to honor your wife. Mm -hmm. That's so beautiful. I Thank bet, you. <laughs> I bet she felt that. Uh, I think so, yeah. So, sorry, I'm just, oh. it's still fresh sometimes. Of course. You know. I'm quite frankly confused a lot of the time about things beyond the physical, if, if I can put it that way. Um, there, are, there are moments where you think all of this is part of some big massive whole. And then other days I think it's just a big bloody mess and I'm just happy to be walking here. There may be something beyond and I don't know what it is, but I've learned to be very patient with myself and try and accept but this day is what I have now, and there are no guarantees about tomorrow, and so I will walk this day as best I can. And I think that's where I am right now. Jack comes from a far more structured um, intellectual plane than I do, that's for sure. If you go to Santiago to look for him there, you will not find him unless you take him with you. And. Uh, I think that kind of sums it up for me, that life and spirituality are so in, intertwined and connected that it's impossible to separate them. That kind of says it, what I mean trying to say in words. <laughs> En los albergues grandes siempre tocan. Siempre, siempre. Era algo así como... Después, 20 segundos. Decías, bien, ahora. A los 20 segundos. Y volvías a dormir. Y después era así fue toda la noche. Toda la noche. ¿Y había algún otro que roncaba? Sí, porque se hacían eco. Hacían ya hacían eco. No, allí. Y aquí. Pero yo no ronco. Respiro fuerte. Se respiro fuerte. Es mentira. Mañana lo grabamos. It's just been thrilling every day to walk. I think of it as walking in a postcard. You know, you're just walking in such beauty. I feel like my body's strong and I can do this. But everybody is passing me. 
Everybody is passing me and I'm just like, what did they eat for breakfast or something? And you know, there's times when the Camino is really just a little trail, like one person wide, and I start hearing people's sticks behind me. And it's like jaws, you know, they're coming. And I'm like, I'm not moving. So my pace is slow, it's my pace. It's so ingrained in me to be competitive and to notice like other people are doing this faster. I can know consciously it's not about that. But boy, it really was like kicking my butt today. I finally step aside and they're so nice. They're like, oh, thank you, Buen Camino. And then they go off and within like 30 seconds, took. And then, took, took, and then they're gone. A bad day for the ego is a good day for the soul. So this must be a great day for my soul. <laughs>